Get out. Go on, get out. Leave him, Vic. Don't you tell me what to do. Mum, what are you with him for? Hang on a minute, Scott. We can explain. Get out or I'll kill no, you. I think we could talk I'll about this. I'll kill you apart. Hey. No, not him. You don't understand, no. Scott. He understands. We all know what you are. Hey, all right. Get, get out. out of it. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Dave and Kathy were married this afternoon. Yep. Otten Registry Office. They wanted to keep it quiet. Why? Oh, it's their wedding. Their decision. Well, why didn't they tell us? Mum is going to go mad. Look, nobody else from the village was there. Oh, this is just like our Dave. He knew I wanted mine to be the first family wedding. Oh, God. Dad's killing Terry Woods. What? Please, Mr Sutton, help! Get up! Keep out of my house! I'm killing you! Come near us again! Leave him, Dad! He's not worth Look, it! Look, we can sort this out. Let's talk! After what you were doing, you couldn't wait to get rid of me, could you? Big people are here! I wanted to hear! Oi! Do you know what my wife's been doing? She's been having it off with Terry Wood uh, on my sofa behind my back! Just calm down, Vic. Why should I? You couldn't wait to Come get on. rid of us! You got rid of us all and you brought him in! It's all right, Jack. Go! Oh. That's a lot! This won't do any good. I don't want to do good. I want to do damage to that piece of dirt. There, yeah, Terry, wait in the wall pack. Come on, leave him, Viv. She's my wife. She's my wife. What's going on here? We can't hear the telly. This is better than the telly, Betty. This is for real. This is my wife, Terry. What? Terry, what? Let's go inside. I'm not leaving, Viv. Do what? Get the girls to me. Come on, girls. Come on, my love. Sir. Go and put the kettle on. Terry, inside. If you lay a finger on her, Terry. Go on, love. Go and look after the girls. I'll be all right. Go on. Let's take it round to your mum's. It's half empty. We can buy another one. Tomorrow. Tonight. I don't want them to hear from anybody else. Oh, well, Biff. He's the only one that knows. But he's bound to tell Linda, and why shouldn't he? I want to tell everybody. Yeah, but you're prejudiced in my favour. <laughs> I feel like shouting it from the rooftops. I'll shout tomorrow. No, tonight. <sighs> OK. You lied to me. You lied to the kids. So what? How long has this been going on, Viv? If you were any sort of husband, you would know. If you were any sort of wife... I've done my best for you! Well, this is your best? What have you ever done for me? I'll tell you, shall I? I haven't lied, I haven't cheated, I haven't been doing it with your best mate! You don't know what you're talking about. How many times, Viv? How many times? Can't remember. Happy? Where did he take you? Some back lane, some bushes... Oh, shut up! Some farmyard! Leave me alone! Why? You don't want to upset me? I can take it! I want to know all the details. I want to hear it all. You're hearing nothing from me. No, you're not used to telling the truth, are you, Viv? I've lived with the truth and that's you. You're a liar. That's all you are. So what are you going to do with it with the kids on the other side of the wall? Beat me up! They want you back in that bar until I know what's going on. You got the gist. How could you? Viv's a married woman. Head happens. And Vic is your friend. Al, I've always been a sucker, you know that. You've let me down. I haven't. And you've dragged the name of the Woolpack in the mud. I, I don't understand, Terry. I really don't. You've treated me like dirt for years. I'm nothing but two hands behind the counter. That's not true. When did you last notice me? You're my wife. It's ages since we've been anywhere together. You never buy me anything. You never say you love me. But you know all that. I do when Terry Wood says it. He's a barman. He's paid to keep punters happy. He's even had Tina Dingle in bed with him before well, now. she wouldn't go to bed with you. No. And you know why? Because I had too much respect for you. Too much respect for us. But Terry Wood! He's twice the man you are. Yeah. I got a business. I got a home. Kids. What's he got? He's a man. He looks like a man. He acts like a man. And I don't? What do you think? The one thing I couldn't stand is spending the rest of my days with you, looking at you across the table, lying next to you in my bed. Well, don't worry, cos you won't have to. I'm not taking you back at any price. This afternoon? Yes, in Houghton. What do you think? I think you're dead sly. I wanted to be a best man. 
Been saving mucky stories for weeks now. We'll put it this way, at least you don't have to fork out on a wedding present. I and didn't get first refusal on bridesmaids either. There weren't any. Yeah, there was just a couple of witnesses. <laughs> what? No proper ceremony like? Well, registrar did all that. No wedding breakfast? Well, we had a meal in Dales. Right. We better say congratulations then. Well, you don't have to. We would like to have been there. Yeah, we would. But seeing as we weren't. Seeing uh... as you never even told us about it. We wish you the best of luck in the world anyway, don't we, Jan? I saw you this morning, Dave. You never said a word. We wanted it to be a surprise. Well, it's that all right. Well, you've done it now. Welcome to the family. <laughs> I'd better go and see it to you, ma'am. Uh, Roy, pour our dame Cathy a drink, will you? Uh, no, thanks. Um, maybe we should go. See you tomorrow, eh? OK, please yourselves. Well, see you, kid. What, well, am I to drink a toast on my own, then, or what? <laughs> sure you can manage. <laughs> Too right I can, mate. I mean it. Mean what? I'm not taking you back. Didn't ask you to. You can pack your things. I will when I want. Do it now. OK. Why not? Got nothing to lose. See if he'll have you. He will. Well, he'll have to, won't he? Cos no one else wants you. I'll take what I need for tonight. Pick up the other stuff another time. I'd rather you took everything now. Well, I can't, can I? What if I throw it out on the street? Then you'll have proved my point. Get out, Viv. Just go. But he lied to me, Ned. He didn't, love. He said he was going for a job interview and that's why he's in his best clothes. Yeah, but if it's a secret wedding, it's a secret wedding. You don't go down telling folk, do you? Well, he could have told me. I suppose so. Any road, don't start getting upset. He didn't want me there. That's what hurts. He didn't want any of us there. No, no, he didn't want me. I don't know. I don't understand how David lately. What's he doing with his life, eh? He's got no job. He flits from one woman to another. I mean, Kim kept him for long enough, paid for everything. And now it looks like poor old Kathy's gonna do the same. Oh, I'm sorry, Ned. It's not your fault, love. It is. Look, how would you work that out, eh? He wanted him with Kathy in the first place. So did I. And if they'd have told us about the wedding, well, we'd have given it our blessing anyway. Yeah, but he couldn't have told you, Ned. He couldn't have asked you to go. Why not? What's wrong with me? Well, nothing, but if he'd have asked you, then he'd have felt obliged to ask me and he couldn't do that. Why not? Because he's ashamed of me. I made a mess of my life. People say so behind me back and he knows it. Nobody says anything behind me back. do! I don't blame our Dave for not wanting me near him. Why should he? Well, I could have pretended to be happy for us. I mean, it is our wedding day. He does seem happy. Well, through clenched teeth. Well, you are Roy, a big smile on his face. Yeah, he was born with that. <sighs> Perhaps it's too much to spring on him. Yeah, maybe. I mean, there was no point in me mum going running upstairs. I mean, she's going to have to get used to it. Everybody else is. What if we threw a party? What, like a wedding breakfast? No, a small celebration in the wine bar for all the people who weren't there. What, like rest at village? I want to mark our wedding. I don't intend it to go unnoticed. Yeah, neither do I. I'm so happy I married you, Kath. Yeah, me too. Hey! hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Here he is, Don Juan himself. Yeah. I've told you likes a bit of young stuff. If wins as young compared to some. Oh, aye. <laughs> Betty Eggleton. <laughs> Oi, I thank you to leave Betty out of this. Hey, don't leave her on the loose, Seth. Keep her tethered to the kitchen sink. You never know where this man's going to strike next. Gentlemen. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Have you got a stamp, love? Hey, she's got a suitcase. You going on holiday, darling? Yeah, aye, on your honeymoon to the Bahamas. <laughs> I told you before. <laughs> One more word and you're out. Yeah. I've left him, Terry. I've got nowhere to go. Gonna stay here. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, Betty. Uh, come in. Well, I won't if you don't mind, Vic. I've just come for a couple of clean blouses for the girls. I've given them the breakfast. Oh, thanks, Betty. <laughs> Very good of you. How are you feeling, love? Oh, so-so, you know. I'll bring the things round. Are they all right? Well, they coping. Uh, back in a minute. Mm. Oh, I wouldn't be coping if it wasn't for Scott. Funny that, isn't it? No. No, you're right. It's tragic. Look, uh, the girls don't have to get changed at your house. Viv's gone. They can come home now. But they're a bit scared, love. Scared? Well, you can hear a lot through them walls. Well, they've got nothing to be scared about. I'm not angry at them. No, not so much scared. Just a bit shocked, I think. They'll be better off with me for a while, love. I mean, Tom can give them a lift to school in his car. Now, that'll help to take the mind off things. Oh, thank you for me, will you? <laughs> yeah. Shall I go round? Uh, yes, love. Front door is open. They're in the back. Right. At least he hasn't left me. Now, the girls will come round later. School's the best place for them just now. Yeah. Send them my love, will you? Yes, of course I will. Now, you go and get yourself something to eat. I don't approve of any of this. I know you don't. Well, it's no good to anybody. No good to me, to you, or it's no good to the village or to the Woolpack. Look, we didn't mean to involve other people. Then you shouldn't have started it all in the first place. I know. I'm sorry, Alan, I'm in your way. I don't want to be here, but what else can I do? I'll just get yourself sorted out as soon as possible. Do you want me to leave? The short answer to that is yes. Well, I, I know the difficulties you face. You're, you're welcome to stay here for a few days. I don't want to make it worse for you. I appreciate that, Alan. I really do. But then I shall have to ask you to go. Al, a few days might not be long enough. But if it isn't, Terry, I shall have to ask you to leave as well. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. You'll be all right, sis. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry to rush you, but we are a bit late already. Come on, get in the car. Donna! Kelly! Wait! Quick! Leave us alone! I want to talk to you. We're in a rush. Well, It'll be all right. Everything will be fine. I'm sorry, Mrs. Windsor. We'll have to go. I'm meant to be on duty at half past eight. I still love you. You know that, don't you? Nothing has changed there. It's, it's your dad I've fallen out with. Why are you in the wall pack? Why are you staying there? Leave her, Donna. It doesn't matter. I'll explain everything. You'll understand. Not in the wall pack, you won't. They'll be all right. They're just upset. No, we're not. Betty and Seth looked after us. I'll have to go. I'm still here. I know, love. <clears throat> I'm sorry about this. It's OK. I'm due back at camp at 2 o'clock. Well, this afternoon? Yeah, I've got 24-hour pass. Well, ring your commanding officer. Ask for a few more days. Why? Well, you can see why. Look, the girls will be all right. I'll keep in touch. Anyway, Dad says I've got to be back at camp. Make sure I don't mess up my own life. What about me? Well, you've got Terry. He can take care of you. What is it? Hello? I wonder who that'll be. Our normal lord. Aye, of course we want it. As soon as possible. Right, well, make sure you do. What's our normal order when it's the door? How should I know? But it'll be here tomorrow. You've got a nerve. They rang me, I didn't ring them. They didn't ring you. They phoned the real owner of this shop. Well, he can pay for the stuff then. It won't bother me. I mean, we'll get away with it. Why not? By the time the bill's arrive, we'll be long gone. I like it here. I think we should stay. Well, you stay and we'll visit you in jail. Hey, no more talk of jail. Not in this family. Fancy that old firm just ringing you up and sending you stuff. Is that because he's Christmas-like? No, Shave Brain. They probably deal with him all the time. He's probably got an account. I am not be the only one, either. Do you mean that we could phone other firms up and order stuff off them and all? Yeah. Lad's a genius. I've always said so. I've never heard you. I don't know about genius, Butch, but you're not as daft as you look. <laughs> Hello. 
Will you be away long? It's a train to London every hour, Frank. No doubt I can get one back before Sophie's next day off. I'm surprised you're willing to leave James with me. I'm leaving him with Sophie. She's got the qualifications. Well, my mum didn't need a certificate to bring us up. Yes, well, no doubt dingle babies are suckled by passing sows, but I want my child to be properly looked after. You can say that again. Now well, my taxi's due. I've kissed James. No need to see me off. Well, don't bring anything back for me. I'm giving you now. <laughs> I paid out a small fortune for that watch, and you haven't bothered to put it on. Well, I was keeping it for special occasions. It's too good for work. Right. So you can have it on later. Later? Stop! Look! Look! Stop! Daddy on! It's right, Mucky, isn't it? <laughs> you will be in a minute. Look, I'm sorry, Dad, but look. Oh, I'll much apologise. It's going to snow five pound notes this Christmas. Hey, it might at that. Are these what you're looking for? Could be. Purveyors of electrical goods, pottery earthenware in China, kitchen utensils, household. Whoa. Do you believe in Father Christmas again? I'll say. <laughs> he doesn't always wear a red coat and he doesn't always climb down a chimney, but there's one born every minute. Yes! Ah, yeah, get on that phone. Hey, how many half-price cutlery sets can we shift over the festive season? One gross or two? Mm, yeah, I'd have choose the customer's nature. Whatever you <laughs> say, boss! <laughs> nice one. You better get this sorted out. Somebody special coming? She's already here. Who? Frank, I've told you I'm not interested. You said you wouldn't do anything while Kim was around. Well, look, she's very obligingly gone to London. I'm finishing early today. You said I could. Fine. Go home, put on something simple but elegant. You know my taste. Oh, and where you watch. I'm meeting somebody else. Who? None of your business. Steve? I don't have to account for my movements. I'll have dinner ready at seven. Well, I won't be here. You've got to make up your mind soon, Tina. Why not tonight? I don't like it. But we made it specially for you. Oh, that's nice. Is it for sale? And we've got now in and Uncle Zach sent me out scavenging. It's a wedding cake. Oh, it's a bit small. Who got married? A pair of pygmies? They did. What? And they didn't <coughs> tell me, so I wasn't a bridesmaid. You haven't? I have. You're going to congratulate me. I wanted to be a bridesmaid. Alice, you can be a bridesmaid another time. I don't want to now. She gets more like you every day. Mandy, will you join us in a toast? When did you do it? Yesterday afternoon, on the registry office. I'm so thrilled. I want to tell everybody. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Congratulations. I've got to go now. I've got some ham I could let you have. No. I'll try the Windsors. Celebrating with the Dingles? No, Dad, she just happened to be here. Oh, like we happened not to be at your wedding? <clears throat> Don't start that again. Hey, I'm sorry if I mentioned it. Only it was our eldest child's wedding, something that we looked forward to and would have enjoyed. We are sorry, Ned. Yeah, you would be if you could see your mum. Well, what's up with her? She thinks you're ashamed of her, that she's let you down somehow. I'm telling you, you've humiliated her, David. When I left home, she was upstairs in the bedroom crying. Well, I'll go and see her. No, don't bother. You're doing enough damage. Just stay away. Yeah? Oh, I like the red one. Oh, the beige. Oh, I like the I've been watching out for you. Oh, I took the girls into town for the tea. I knew you didn't have much time. Thanks, sir. Uh, but then come home now. We'd rather stay at Betty's. You can't do that, love. I don't want to go back if she's there. She's not. Uh, your mum's still over at the Woolpack. Do you mean she's living with him? I don't know what she's doing. I don't want her to be with Terry. I don't care who she's with, as long as she's not around us. Don't say that, love. It's not nice. What she's done isn't nice. I hate her. You don't. You do. Don't take any notice of me. I don't know what I'm doing. Has Scott gone back now? Yeah. Yeah, well, he had to. He's, he's a soldier now. Can't do as he likes anymore. So, just be the three of us then? Yeah, we manage. You sure you'll be all right, Vic? I know when you've got a business to run, two youngsters are a lot to cope with. They're mine, Betty. I'm their dad. You don't want to be left on your own, do you, Dad? No, love, I don't. Right, you go in with Dad, and I'll go into bits and collect our things. Okay, come on, Dad. Come on. 
Kelly didn't want to have anything to do with me. She just didn't want to know. She'll be all right. So if she isn't. Well... I'll never forget the way Scott looked at me. <sighs> He's his own man now. Oh, Terry. What would I do without you? So that's it. The end of me and Dave Glover. There was nothing between you to start off with. Well, there could have been. I nearly was. You can have Frank Tate if you want. He's lovesick and all. Well, that's nothing new. He's getting a bit much now. Well, you shouldn't have accepted that watch in the first place. You should have told him to get his money back on it. It was a gift to a business colleague. At least that's what he said. Well, you didn't believe him, Tina. The Tates don't give out for now. I took that watch in good faith. <sighs> Pull the other one. If a bloke give me something like that, I'd know exactly what he wanted in return. Why don't you hurry up and get on with it? Because I'm not for sale. No man buys me. Well said, Emma Tina. There's some smashing stuff in here, Dad. I mean, we can order a widescreen TV. We can order three or four. Oh, yeah, and when the delivery man turns up, he's just going to drop them off. Why wouldn't he? Because he might not be stone blind, a moron, and completely daft. What do you mean? That shop doesn't look like an electrical retailer's, and you lot don't look like successful businessmen. Appearances can be deceptive. They can be, but in your case, they're not. Oh, just get the drinks in, girl. Here. Same again, please, Terry. Coming up. Vic not with you tonight, Viv. Doesn't look like it. What you done? Stuck him in the franking machine? I've left him. You've left him? You mean for good? Yeah. Surprised you hadn't heard. No, I hadn't, actually. Well, you know now. So, are you fancy free, then? Or is there somebody else? That there's somebody else. Who's the lucky fella? Nearly there. He is. Who? Terry. We're living together. Here. 